Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya and today's video is going to be me using the coffee pot to make um, the tea that I made last week. So this tea is called Oshi Spicy and it's going to be for sale at the farmer's market. Um, I apologize for the wobbly camera. I am holding it today. Um, so for those of you who didn't watch last week's video, this is cardamom, um, bay leaves, uh, black pepper, cinnamon, fennel seed, cloves. I think we got it. I think that's it. Um, and so last week I basically crushed all of it that I would need for the farmer's market and I told you guys I would show you what it looked like when it was in the bag. This is what it looks like. Though this did happen last week, I have not tried the tea yet and so I wanted to try it in here so you guys could see how little amount you need of the tea for you to get maximum flavor and for you to get the color. So I'm going to add my handy dandy, if it works. One moment. Okay, so the last ingredient was black tea. The reason why I left it out is because this bag is the uh, decaffeinated version or non-caffeinated. It doesn't have contain any caffeine. And that is because there are people like myself who cannot drink caffeine. And so I made a couple bags that didn't have any caffeine in them. Um, black tea. And this is two tablespoons of the blend and you can see that I still have a lot left and the reason why I only use two tablespoons is because um, this coffee pot will pour the water straight over the grounds and you don't need very much to get maximum flavor and so I'm going to do that now by just closing the lid and turning it on. I can't really see anything but the machine is going. Okay so it made about three cups um, I only put four cups of water in it, but because this is tea and not coffee, some of the water is still coming through slowly. Um, and so I'm going to make myself a cup so that I can try it and tell you guys how it went. Okay guys, so I'm going to try it now that I've cooled it down a little. It's still very hot. Um. <laughs> It might not seem like I'm tasting it, but believe me guys, I'm tasting it. It is really good. Um, I'm really proud because it was my own blend. Um, uh. <coughs> I distinctly remember coming up with most of the ingredients. I don't know what the gasp is for. Um, she did add things that I would have not added, it, like the cloves. Um, but Wow. <laughs> But it is very aromatic and it is very good. It smells just as it tastes. Um, one thing that I did do in the video was I crushed the cardamom with the mortar and pestle instead of buying cardamom powder. And the reason I did that was because I wanted the potent cardamom flavor and you can taste it. Um, this again is caffeine free. So mom has tried the caffeinated one like the day after we made it. And she said that one's just as good, so I'm really proud of this. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. Oh, and hopefully, maybe one day we'll be able to offer it to you guys. Um, Online. Tell yeah. us if you guys are curious and um, would be happy to buy. Maybe just through our YouTube channel. This is good. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>